All right. Hey there, Rivet family. Happy Friday. Uh, we're doing some fast, interval work today like we tend to do about once a week or so. We're doing three five-minute AMRAPs with a five-minute rest in between each one. Plenty of time to rest and recover. Get that heart rate down so you can hit that next AMRAP nice and hard. Uh, you'll notice that each AMRAP today starts with a buy-in on the rower. Buy-in, of course, just happens once at the beginning of the five minutes and then the remainder of the five minutes after you're done on the rower, that's the AMRAP part. That's when you're doing your jump rope and your front squats, okay? So we're AMRAPing front squats, jump rope. Um, the row gets shorter each time, right? Each round's a little less row, which means you'll have a little more time for your jump rope and front squats. For our CrossFit athletes, you guys will use the barbell. You'll be going up in weight each time on the front squats. You'll notice that the reps actually go down while the weight, in fact, goes up. So, sets of 15 in the first time wrap, sets of 10 in the second one, sets of 5 in the third one. Uh, a little bit heavier each time. When you're uh, choosing your weight today, let's make sure that you can get through each of those sets of front squats, um, basically with no more than one break. You know, ideally, we're bringing the bar up, we're doing an unbroken set, we're putting the bar down. If there's one little break in there, that's fine, uh, but let's try to keep that in mind when we're choosing our weight today. For our Fit 30 athletes, you'll be using uh, one pair of dumbbells all the way through, same pair. Uh, I have some recommended weights there for you. Uh, so your workout will be, uh, like I said before, second to everybody, a little less row each time and a little more squats and jump row. Um, cues today, let's think about heels, let's think about a piece of paper. Weird cues, I know, but all these movements today, it's very important that we uh, have contact with the ground with our heels. I talk about heels down a lot. We do a lot of movements that tend to pull people forward onto the uh, front part of their feet, and which tends to throw off their balance, uh, stops them from being able to use the power, strength, um, stability of that full leg, right? We kind of come to be a little more quad dominant when we're on our, on our toes or the balls of our feet. So, first one, double unders. Very important to hear that as we jump every time we land, right? Most of the impact's gonna be on the front part of the feet. That's fine, we're on the, mostly on the balls of the feet. But every time we land, we actually want to let those heels quickly kiss the ground at the bottom. What this does, two different things, is it relaxes or unloads the calves, which is good. Because if you're kind of doing all your double unders up on your toes, your calves are gonna get really tired. And the other thing, it actually puts a little more spring in your bounce, which is good. So it's a win-win. So as we jump today, we're gonna pretend that we're standing on a piece of paper, that we have a little bit of paint on the heels of our shoes, and we're trying to get a little bit of paint on that piece of paper every time. So again, most of the bounce, most of the impact is on the balls of the feet, but every time we're just kind of gently letting the heel come down, kiss the ground, come back up, right? So this is bad, and then this is good. Let the heels drop down. And then for our front squats and row, we want to keep the heel down throughout the entire movement. I want you to pretend they have a piece of paper underneath your heels for both the front squats and the row today. And that piece of paper, if I come along or whoever your coach is comes along, I should not be able to move that piece of paper. So when we're squatting today, right, we always focus on hips back, knees out, chest up, and really keeping those heels flat on the floor. It's very common to see people either doing two things where they're coming forward, the weight shifting forward onto the balls of feet, heels coming up, no good, you're gonna lose that piece of paper. Or the other thing is we often get some ankle collapse. So if we're not pressing those knees out hard, we tend to get a little ankle collapse, I don't know if you can see that on my shoes. What this leads, leads to is a little bit of space right underneath the heel on the outside of the foot. Um, same deal though, we don't have that full foot, that full heel flat on the floor, you're gonna lose that piece of paper. Us coach is gonna be looking for that today. And then on the rower, I know I say this a lot about rowing, when we're at the catch, right, when your face is up near the monitor, the chain is short, and you're going back into your drive, we really need to glue those heels down, really shove off through the heels hard. Rowing is mostly about using the legs, it's mostly about the push. Um, if you don't have those heels down when you push into your drive, you're really not gonna get as much power, as much force as you can. You're not using your whole leg, you're really doing yourself a big disservice. So when you're rowing today, pretend you have a little piece of paper underneath each heel, and that piece of paper should not slip out, which means your heels should never lift off. It's just that simple. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you today. So yes, ascending weights on the front squats, 
Uh, I will have time caps on the rowers. So time caps on the rowers. First AMRAP, that 50-35 calorie row, three minute time cap on that because I want you to get to the front squats and, and double unders. Uh, second one, the 40-30 calorie row, I'm going to put a two and a half minute time cap on that, 2.30. And on the last one, that 30-25 calorie row time cap will be two minutes. And this is just so you get to your front squats, your double unders, and get some of that portion of the work done. All right, that's it. I talked too much. Happy Friday. Have fun with this one, guys. Have a great weekend.